Christian tradition that I grew up in, there was this idea of the Good Samaritan, which was a story about what do you do when you come upon someone who's suffering? And when asked that, Jesus says, you know, you, you take care of the people who are suffering if they're your neighbors. The value of this parable is that question, who's my neighbor? Who, who am I required to? Or who do I feel comfortable extending my compassion? Being a preacher's kid and an animal lover, I took that on as a six-year-old, and I would come home from school and pick up all the dead critters I saw on the way home, take them home, and bury them. And when I went into seminary, I wanted to expand my focus. How do we help suffering species? Humans make up 0.01% of the life on planet Earth, yet we've caused 83% of the loss of all wild mammals since the dawn of civilization, and about 43% of that for animal agriculture. That's the state of what we're in today. Studies have shown that using mindfulness, meditation, prayer, all sorts of different spiritual practices can open us up to being able to see some of these facts a little better. They can help us open our hearts. They can help us perhaps make different decisions in our behavior. And they can help us widen who we think is a neighbor.